Karen L. Blair, an assistant professor of psychology at St. Francis Xavier University, published an article on the recent 2016 U.S. presidential election, a study as to whether Secretary Clinton lost to a basket of deplorables. The study was carried out to determine whether people's voting choices were associated with their attitudes on topics such as sexism, racism, and Islamophobia. Several participants were recruited for a different study in 2014 to sample their opinions and attitudes on a variety of topics. Then, in October 2016, they were recontacted to ask who they were planning to vote for in the upcoming presidential election. Voters' attitudes were analyzed based on three groups. People voting for Donald Trump. People voting for Hillary Clinton. People who were still undecided or considering a vote for a third-party candidate. First, the average levels of voters' attitudes across the three groups were compared, and Clinton voters were found to be lower on all measures of prejudices than Trump voters. Most third-party or undecided voters were more similar to Trump voters than to Clinton voters, except on Islamophobia, where Clinton and third-party undecided voters were both lower than Trump voters. Multinominal logistic regression was also used to examine whether a person's voting decisions could be predicted from their attitudes, and the answer was yes. A point higher on the measure of old-fashioned homophobia increased likelihood of voting for Trump instead of Clinton by 2.3 times. Higher Islamophobia and social dominance orientation also more than doubled likelihood of voting for Trump instead of Clinton. Similar patterns were found when predicting third-party or undecided votes. Except that Islamophobia was not a significant predictor when comparing third-party or undecided voters to Clinton voters. The strongest predictor of not voting for Clinton was ambivalent sexism. Individuals who were higher in ambivalent sexism were more than three times more likely to vote for Trump or to be a third party or undecided voter than they were to vote for Clinton. In conclusion, Trump supporters in this study truly were more prejudiced than Clinton supporters, so Clinton's analogy of a basket of deplorables may have been right. And those attitudes were important factors in predicting who people would vote for in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. What does that mean for 2020?